Aaron and I were talking about shows, as we often do, and we noticed that shows were being offered to the public were very realistic shows, hard-edged shows, not very pretty shows, with not very pretty people that seemed to be in vogue. And we thought, mm, we're going to go the other way. So we came up with an idea which we pitched to Barry and Michael at breakfast at the Polo Lounge at the Beverly Hills Hotel. This is a show about three gorgeous girls named Catherine, Allie, Allie, Catherine, and somebody. And we call it the Alley Cats. Get it? And they're private detectives. And we stop. And Michael or Barry said, this is the worst idea for a show we ever heard. Let's just eat breakfast. So we go and eat breakfast. We did sell them a movie for television. We could never would leave without one set. Murder on Flight 506, a memorable film that Farrow was in, incidentally. But we remember this. We remember Charlie's Angels. Now, we had done a movie for television with Robert Wagner and Natalie Wood called The Affair. Really nice movie. In fact, Natalie was just pregnant at that time with their daughter at the same time Wendy was pregnant with Amanda. Anyway, we make this movie. A long, drawn-out contract on page 18. It says ABC will pay $25,000 for a script to be developed for a series, not to star RJ and Natalie, but to be a joint production of Rona Productions, their company in Spelling Dover. Some time later, the business affairs guy sends me, our guy sends me a note that says, the time is up for the Rona project. I said, what are you talking about? He shows me there's a date and a... I call Michael Eisen and I said, Michael, you have to pay us $25,000 for a script since you haven't picked anything. He just has to send us a check, which will split four ways, which is not going to make our year. But why don't we write a script so at least it's not wasted money. You have something to show for it. Well, what do you want to write? I said, why don't we write the Alley Cats? And Michael says, I said, really, what's the difference? He said, OK, fine, write it. And that's how Charlie's Anger got written. Somebody wrote it first. And then a gentleman named Goffin Roberts rewrote it, added the character of Charlie, who you never saw, and the phone. And that's how Charlie's Angels came to be written. The next step, of course, was going to be the casting. The first person we cast was Kate Jackson. We had had great success with Kate in um, The Rookies. I had known her. Actually, she had done a little bit in Dark Shadows way, way back. Um, and we, we thought Kate was great, and we thought she'd be great for this, so we cast Kate. And then we had been familiar with Farah. We had a program when I was running Screen Gems where we, uh, Renee Valente, our head of talent, we had a talent program where we tried to develop new talent. She was part of that. And then Aaron and I had used her in two movies for television, one, both memorable, the Great American Beauty Contest, which I'm sure you recall, and uh, Murder on Flight 506. So we were familiar with Farrah and thought she would be terrific. And so we uh, cast Farrah. Now we needed the third angel. Somehow, it was always easy if you cast a brunette and a blonde. When the third one, what were we going to do? First, we look for a redhead. We thought, hmm, we're really smart. Let's find a redhead. And that didn't work. And it's interesting, just skipping way ahead, when we did the movie of Charlie's Angels, we cast the first two parts quickly and then couldn't find the third angel either. It's some weird vibe about the third angel. Any event, we looked and looked and looked, and I don't know who suggested Jackie Smith, who was a model, and just begun acting, wasn't a very good actress, hadn't had any experience, maybe my wife, I don't know who. 
But we brought Jackie in, and uh, we liked her, and the network approved all three people. And then we um, hired a director. We're shooting a pilot, and a day in, the network says to us, we want Jackie Smith replaced. She can't act. Of course, the sarcastic answer was, thank God she doesn't have to. We're not testing her limits in this movie. And she's so gorgeous, what's the difference? Impossible to take a bad picture of her. And by the way, through five years, many directors tried, but it was impossible. She was just so beautiful. Um, and the pilot's finished, and the network liked it, I guess. And um, then Aaron and I decided to do something to help sell it. We had them pose in a now famous pose with the three of them standing like this. Farrah in tennis whites, shorts. Jackie in uh, a bikini. And Kate in a riding outfit. I mean, there were guys who liked the riding crop and all that stuff, the boots. And we had them made up as kind of life-size, almost a little larger than life-size. And we sent them to all the executives at ABC. And the guys used to tell us that when they went to the office to sell their shows, their sitting there would be those huge posters 